midway through the second period of last night's game. Actually, Yemelin, excuse me, caught Derek McKenzie with an elbow to the head, a high shoulder to the head. Panthers tough guy Sean Thornton immediately came to his captain's defense, but Emelin wanted no part of it, turtling before Steve Ott jumped in. Emelin got a two-minute penalty for the hit. Thornton got two minutes for roughing. Ott got two minutes for roughing and a game misconduct for jumping in. Now, afterwards, Thornton had some harsh words for the Habs defenseman, saying, and I quote, I think he's what's wrong with the league these days. I think there's no accountability anymore. He can't run around and take headshots at our captain and just turtle and the refs save your life. I'm getting out at the right time because I like the game when you had to be a man and look yourself in the mirror. So that's my honest opinion of that guy. I don't have any respect for him. I think he's a pretty good defenseman, but I don't like the way he plays. I don't mind battling, but I've seen him headhunt a lot of guys and never, ever answer for it. So is Sean Thornton, right? I, I disagree with him here. I really disagree with him here. First on the hit, the hit I've seen about 15 hits worse than that this season. Than yeah, I'll take, that I'll take that. Earlier in that shift, uh, Andreas Martinson got clocked behind the net. But Petrovic, or Vich, I'm sure he's a good defenseman too. I never get that one right. He's from out west. They call him Petrovic. Petrovic. My apologies. He's a good defenseman. I got no problem with him. Real dirty hit behind the net. No one's talking about because the quote, justifiably so, is catching on like wildfire. I don't. I don't buy it. I just. I just don't think the hit was that bad. Look, does is Emlin fight all the time? I can't disagree with him on that. He doesn't. But in this in this day in the NHL, first off, the worst problem with the NHL right now is making up the rules as you go along. That, to me, is the worst part of the NHL, not stuff yeah. like this. I got no problem with the hit. I had more issue with what happened to Martinson earlier in that shift. And I'm not going to get too bent out of shape about what happens on a shift with two fourth lines going head-to-head -head with each other. And I thought it was a little offside. And, and I, was a, I was surprised coming from Thornton, who at times hasn't been the cleanest player himself in the NHL. And, and that's my stance on it. Now, well, he's, a, he's a keeper of the code here. Like, he's saying that hit was dirty. You don't do that to, oh, captain, my captain, no matter if it's fourth line or not. And he jumped in. Right. I got no problem with Sean Thornton jumping in at all. He, no, but, uh, if so, he's an old school guy, so go if, ahead. No, but if, if Emelin, and we have to put, have, there's a little preamble to this. Emelin doesn't fight a lot because no. he had his face smashed in by Svitov in the KHL. He has metal plates in his face, so he does not want to fight because of what happened to him in the KHL, and it was pretty gross. The, the punch that you're going to see land uh, is quite obvious, yeah, and there it is right yeah. there. Uh, so he has he needed facial reconstructive surgery. That is all part of the equation when you're talking about him. But then you can't play on the edge the way Emelin does. Because yeah. eventually there's got to be some. If you're going to play on the edge, you're going to step over the line. And when you step over the line, someone's got to hold you accountable because the game is so dangerous. And the referees aren't holding them accountable. No. So Sean Thornton no. says, you know what? That's just as dangerous as anything else on this ice. So I'm going to punch you in the face. And in between all of these people who want to see the fight, the, the hits without the fights, you can't have it both ways because those are just as dangerous sometimes. But Tim, let me ask that you one something. wasn't that dangerous, and I agree yeah, with I, you. I didn't think it was that bad. But I think Sean Thornton's making a point. There's no accountability because the refs aren't doing it and the players aren't doing it anymore. But why can't, whatever happened to hitting a guy, physically hitting a guy, and that being retribution? What happened because, to that in this league? Like, yeah. there's no. You, so, what's wrong with Sean Thornton? You got a problem with Alexei Lemelin? I got no problem with it. Because that's become. Just, Find him on the next shift. Because that's become just as dangerous as anything else on the ice. Retro that's why. But listen, here's here's one thing I think that you've got retribution, to like we, retribution no, no, hold of on. any kind, is going to be no, dangerous. We, however, you define it, right. I think. What, but, what Sean Thornton's talking about is accountability, and yeah. not running around like a like a chicken with your head cut off and trying to drill everything that moves. That's his accountability. Yeah. It's funny that he has to go about punching faces to get that accountability, but that's what he's talking about. Like that's what I think a lot of people don't understand is that these hits, not that one, but other ones. That one was dangerous can be just as dangerous as anything else on the ice, including being literally punched in the ask, face. Ask Clark MacArthur. Yeah. Right? Ask yep. Clark MacArthur. Yeah, I'm not going to disagree with you there, but I thought on that same shift, one of his own guys was dirtier. Okay. And yep. I had a big problem with him chirping like a canary after the game. And I like Sean Thornton, but eh. And by the way, after leaving Gerard no, Gallant, no. 
uh, look, waiting for a cab earlier yeah. this year. The Panthers got officially eliminated right, from postseason play last year. He, you See know what? Ya. He's Take the care. he's the last of the keeper. Like there might not be any beyond Look him. Who's left? Like, I'm keeper of the code. Who's, 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 who's that guy? I don't. There, there are a couple tough guys left. Steve, but is Steve Ott a guy nah, like that? No, but they're not like, keepers of the code the way he is. Like he has always been the guy. When you have the two people talking at center ice in the warmups, it's always Sean Thornton that is talking to the other team's guy about what's going to happen. And he's always he's in the quote he said, you know, I fought everyone there is, and he has. He's fought everyone out there, and he's not necessarily that guy, super heavyweight. Yeah. But he is. I, he might be the last of the keepers. On Twitter, if you think of anyone else who is the last of those guys, the keepers of the code. By the way, as the, it were, the worst part of that statement was Emlyn's a pretty good defender. For most of the year, he hasn't been. Let's be honest here. He's had really rough stretches, but that was buried in the story. Say la vie. Panthers, enjoy the golfing. Montreal Canadiens heading to so, the postseason. So can he keep hitting like that without fighting? Yes. In this league? Yes. Yeah. I think so. In, in this league, he can. Should he be so. able to? Nah. Probably not. Nah, I don't think so. But. but uh, so what's where we are right now.